watching somebody and I want to correct. Freeze! How's your weight? Is it dropping straight down? I call it heavy nuts. I pretend my balls are a pair of five pound kettlebells. And I want to drop them straight the fuck down. And I want my feet light and my hands light, my hips independent and my head independent. Move around. Okay, Heavy hit. Around this much. having that in the background because we think street we don't really train a street but we always fucking think it and um, I'm in this thing here and fuck I can't learn how to box in a class really even in a year right as I was explaining last night it's a simple art that takes a lifetime but to master jab cross hook slip bob weave footwork now you know how to box but checkers, simple game, but it's fucking hard. All right, and so I'm here, and I'm a grappler already. So I don't want to box, I want to enter. And I want to enter without putting my face in the way and getting knocked out. Okay, and we'll but, but do two entries and then we'll transition more into the art of jujitsu and get well past this. I've always loved the lead stomp entry, which of course is your classic the jiu-jitsu entry, where I'm not, it's, it's not an upward kick. I'm not kicking up, <laughs> kick him, kick him, not that. It is a step on his dick. I'm gonna bring my knee to my chest and I'm gonna stomp onto his dick. And then I stomp, I'm Stepping down, and I'm making sure my face 
is out of the way of the shot. You're going to miss. And then, as I step down, I'm spearing my hands in, protecting the knockout triangle, and I'm going to enter on his head. And I like the slow ball. You know, I can go really fast, or I go, right? You know, I do this a couple times, and I and then my hands can get here. And I want to pinch the head. And so even as he punches at me, I'm blocking the knockout triangle, right? Maybe on the rear I go first, like boom, I hit once, and then I'm going to enter and I'm going to hold that head. Okay? Let's do it. I mean, guys, clearly, for every cool thing, there's three cooler counters, right? Hence, mu Muay Thai, right, is the, the whole art of this. How do you enter a guy who knows how to punch and kick and not get punched and kicked? And it's not an easy task, right? We're over here, and if I know how to punch and kick, and he does it, right? You do it. And I have it time, but you do it on me. Boom, right? I can clock him. If it's not well timed, you'll fuck it up. If your arm bar isn't timed, you'll oh, oh, screw it up. You, you also can, like, gauge them a bit. You, you know, like, hold your hand out. You know, that's a common. Old school pre-glove boxing thing, pre-neoprene and rubber and plastics, gloves were a lot harder. There's a lot more cheating too, the removal of the pad and the gloves and a lot of that stuff. And pre-gloves, you didn't have any gloves, right? And if he has his hands up here, what you do is round after round with his hands. And after a while, your hand starts to hurt, doesn't it? Yep. That's why <laughs> you watch old boxing, you put your hands like this. Because then I'm not hitting your knuckles. Because when my hands are here and you punch that, you're starting to break my fingers. Right. And by round eight, I can't hit you back. So you bring your hands like this. Because now my hands are out of the way, and as you punch, I want to meet your punch with my elbow, and that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That hurts. And so the first three rounds in 1908 of boxing was about injuring your opponent's weapons, often. Keep practicing. Cool things. I, I was always a very feely, emotional kid, which is probably why I was in this stuff. And um, I, I don't want to go into my childhood horrors, because they probably pale compared to a lot of yours. But I remember watching, because we had this one playground park area that no adults could see, that where the boys would go after school and fight. And I fought in that thing and all that. But, but one of my best friends who was older than me, they probably had a 30 minute fight. And it was awful, because it was like, it was that seventh grade age where you don't have man strength, but you have adult meanness in you. And I remember being horrified at how long it would last and how exhausted they were hitting each other in the face and how you could tell both of their hands were so wounded, but they couldn't quit. Never mind, just keep drilling. <laughs> but I was thinking of that, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to bypass a bunch of gears and go right in but to the gi, but to jitsu in the more pure form, not the I want to score points form, right? So we have our upright stance, and when I have on my grip, as I enter on a grip, it's almost a punch, and then I want to grab some cloth, and I want to wrap my hand around it, Pinky finger tight, and if I hold this really tight, remove this grip, remove it. Ouch, it fucking hurts. And I go, man, I gotta hold it tighter, and I do curls and grip curls, and I go online and I order all these grip machines and MMA fucking things sponsored by UFC. And, and I'm <laughs> working on, on my grip, and then I hold it really tight, but break it. Ow, and it still fucking hurts. And then, 
I go, oh, relax your elbow first and your trigger finger and see what happens. Go, remove that grip. And go with it like Aikido, except it works. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm holding on it tight. Remove it. Remove it. Like embarrassment. Right? I want to go with that, and my hips are tracking him. And I'm relaxed, and when he does remove it, I let go and I change grips. <laughs> right? So, but jujitsu is the art of letting go, and the art of relaxing. And I want this relaxed, like I'm stirring the pot. My hips are over here, and I'm working it, keeping my <laughs> independent hips. So I got this grip, and I'm, I'm connected here onto my hips, and I'm feeling it, and I'm tracking it. Move that grip. I'm tracking it, I'm tracking it, I'm tracking it. Right? Okay, that drill, that. <laughs> you learned it in the subconscious mind how to hold the grip right. But now that like, you're like, oh, well, what, what is it right about but the grip? I gotta know, like, why is this grip bad and this one's not, right? Keep going. I'm, I'm relaxing everything, go. He removes it. My hips are, are kind of following my elbow and his hip, remove it. My hips are chasing with the grip, right? I'm chasing that grip. My hip, not here. Not here, right? Okay, keep going. So in our next, the basic drill, and there's 15 of these drills that will comprise your basic grip work game, which is the same grip work game I have when you're here or when I'm here, right? It's with that same kind of game. Help me up, I'm old. <laughs> All right, so for instructional book purposes, we're going to agree to grab each other's geese in this grip here. And we're going to dance and not fight like a waltz. Right? A dance. So I'm not grabbing his gi here. Escape your arm. Very easy. Escape your arm over, under, around, or through. Yeah. I'm controlling his elbow. Escape your arm. And because he has on some cloth, I'm grabbing that too. But you're palming the elbow. Because I want to have my eyes closed and know if he can punch me. I want to feel with my eyes closed, where is that hand? And if I'm holding it here, I can't tell at all. I'm going to get decked. I'm going to get uppercutted. I'm gonna... This is why I say, if you think street all the time, it'll improve your art and your sport. Where are his hands? But can they hit me? If they can, I got to adjust. So over here, I'm feeling the elbow, my loose grip, the engagement of the hip, I get this right, hands, head, and hips. So now, his head. I want to feel what, where his head is and his hips, and we're just kind of walking a little waltz right here. We're just having a little feel of that game. Do it. We're almost out of time. So, most of you know that I say a pulling guard is something that we all do. Like masturbation, <laughs> we all do it, but you never want to lose the complete sense of shame out of it, right? <laughs> you don't want to be proud of it. So you can pull guard, but you should feel a little ashamed every time. <laughs> Because you chickened out of the stand-up fight. Just fucking face it. So when you pull a guard, you pull a but dynamic attack of one of the three prongs, right? Choke, lock, sweep. Choke, lock, sweep. The three-pronged attack. 
So when I pull a guard, I don't want a passive me too guard. <laughs> I want to fucking make America great again. <laughs> So, the first drill we will do is I, the, the hacky sack a drill I call it, is I'm here, I'm not going to stick my butt out. I'm going to lift up my foot and I'm going to practice just having a feel of, of my palm, of my foot, which hurts my old hips, slapping his hips. Okay? That's the drill. Do it. If he goes slow, I'm going to try to grab that foot. Because that's bad news, right? That's got to go fast. Go. Go. Yes. See, I don't... you got to have that going on, right? Bam! Maybe I'm working around it. A little hip twist. Right? Boom! I want to feel that set. Okay, go. So we but could then steer this down one of three roads, right? How do we use it as a bluff? How do we use it as a sneak into a trip? Right? We could use it. What happens when he grabs that leg? How do I re-counter it and use it as some other tool of attack. But we're going to do the jiu-jitsu version of the Potomanage, okay? And what I don't want to do is this. Fall away and go here. Because then I'm pulling fucking guard. <laughs> right? And God's killing a kid. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he actually is. I mean, he's clearly pretty cool, cruel. He took vacation while the Holocaust was going on, the slave trade. So, okay, never mind. All right, so that's philosophy. You can debate that over a beer and a hit of acid and go down an existential, depressing rabbit hole, pop out the other side and say, I don't care if it's bullshit. There's nothing in life to live for. Okay, so, when I step here, and I'm going slow-mo because I really have a bad old hip, remember, my palm is almost slapping. And then I'm going to bring my ass onto his foot. So I'm actually going in to my opponent so I can go underneath his hips. Just like if I'm out here, I'm not going to throw them. But when my hips get underneath, I can throw them. So if I don't get my hip underneath, I can't throw them. So my hip is going in and under because my arms don't have my falling into. That, because we're the jujitsu guys, hold your base. I, I'm, I may think we're the art of control. I want to control that as best as I possibly can. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have you do it because that fucking kills my hip. Step. Freeze. So your butt cheek is going to step up and sit on my foot. Right there. Then pull down, lift, and control. Make sense? Yeah. Let's do it. Walk through the exercise, then if you got it down, you run through. You don't go, oh, that was a cool drill, let's do it really fast. Right? You know, it's like, um, you want to be a good a sparring a partner. Really important in this thing, right? In a boxing, those of you who a, a box, it's even more important. To have good sparring partners who understand the nature of sparring and good but drilling partners, right? And you don't want to be a dick. 
what I call a stiff dick. <laughs> Nobody on the mat, at least I think, likes a stiff dick. <laughs> Maybe off the mat, whatever. And you also don't want to be a limp dick. Right? And so here's a bad partner. Go. I was being a jerk. A stiff dick. Here's a limp dick partner. Go. Come on. <laughs> what? I'm doing it. <laughs> we'll try it now. See, I know how to shut it down. Right? That's not the kind of partner you want. You want to be neutral. Okay? But keep drilling. And smooth. Crawl through, walk through, run through. Inevitably, my opponent, he's also still. And when he feels it coming, go, he's going to do it. He drops his base, right? Because it kind of kills it, which makes it look like a guard pull. So after a while, you think as the white belt, oh, that was a guard pull. Maybe it's a Tomonagi attempt that he just countered well, right? Oops. So I'm going to be working it with all kinds of stuff. I'm trying various trips and throws. I'm making that hit drift back. So when I go, I'm getting deep underneath, right? I'm trying to send my hip underneath his hips. But inevitably, I fail because he drops his face. Then immediately, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to reach, grab his hand, and lock it onto my gi. Escape your hand. I'm going to lock it. I'm feeling that elbow, remember? Just like in the stand-up. I'm feeling it. My leg comes up and over, and I lock that on. Right off the bat. Help me up. Down. Right to there. He counters it. The counter it. I go back. My throw. Right? Right? Oh! Got funky. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to, right? <laughs> hey, in the 80s, but breakdancing was cool. <laughs> so I go, my slow-mo, I'm trying to dig in, drive my hips, I'm reaching my hips up, closing, I'm just locking his arm in place, and then I'm moving my head slightly to get it. Escape your arm, just locking it up there, right? He escapes it, my hips go underneath, all right, hold your base, my hips go underneath, and you're lifting. Make sense? Let's do it. So, we're engaged in here, he's putting his nose over his toes, I remind him to not do that, he attempts the Otomanagi, and I drop. He reaches and grabs my hand, locking it onto the gi. He feels my elbow. His crotch goes up high. Yes, but you want your legs yeah, where you can feel that. Locks us into place, torques his upper body out of the way and his hips. We get the arm bar, right? Let me just do one right here, so stand up a sec. So I'm here, and I'm feeling this foot the connection and the grip. I want to really feel this connection. Escape your hip. I want to feel where I see I'm, I'm feeling on that hip. Feeling on that hip. Feeling on his elbow. Feeling the connection. I'm grabbing and hit her up and I'm torquing that lock. Then I want him to grab really a good base. And I'm going to feel where I can get underneath still. So, you see, I'm working over back to that arm. So, yeah, I'm working on feeling where I can get my hips underneath. He's just smart. Now he grabs my knees. Right? Then I'm going to feel where I can grab his 
And then that's it. We're going to go to open map. Go. Great count. Everything. Oh, right? If I'm here, and he escapes, grabs my knees, and I, I do this, what am I given? Um, pretty good foot lock. And of course, when I do any of these moves that'll end up in that spot, look at the person's ankles and feet. And like, go, oh fuck, he's a Fred Flintstone. I don't want to do that, right? Because they, if they have thick ankles and feet, I'm going to lose that war. It's like one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. One, two, three, four, I declare a foot war. If I have really thick feet and ankles, or I've got some weird jeans and I don't but care about pain, and I can torque my feet all the way around, maybe I'll do a foot war, but I, I don't want to. So I'm here. As I go, my hips are attacking. So I want my feet out of that game. You're not pulling them in a trip because you love guards so much because you're so fucking comfortable on your back and ass that you can do this and stay here. Right? That's offensive. <laughs> so now here, go hold your base. See, I'm back. It's, it's a multi-pronged attack. And I'm pulling into him out. I'm pulling my hips in. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. Go. So Brian likes the footboard. <laughs> He's told me so. <laughs> and he likes to stick his head down and get kneed in the face. Yes. Which is fine in sport because we've eliminated for those things. Right? And I know he gets good base. He wants me to bring him in a way that that happens, right? Yes, sir. You love it. So what do you do? I gotta follow that with my hips like a fucking madman if I'm gonna avoid it, right? That's why I can say you don't wanna have the I wanna trip him. That's not a good habit, right? I have us, we go back on that pie. Where do I wanna be in this game? Mount! Cross sides, back, or knee right. All goals are going in that direction, and I'm going to take fucking locks and chokes on the way. If it's in the way, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to choke it. But I'm mission fucking oriented to be the guy in one of those spots. So when I'm here, I'm leery of that lock. He may even want it, right? <laughs> I know he wants it to go. See, I gotta follow it. And get on top. Slap his fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, I'm done. Open map.